So this is yeah the beginning of the stormwater um, camera. This is just at the 800 mil by 90 mil bush, uh, heading towards the curb adapter that the current owner has um, excavated and removed as it has been crushed, uh, likely by a car driving over it or a truck or something. Um, this appears to have solved the issue of the water sitting in the backyard. Uh, however, I will camera the stormwater line as far as I can um, to ensure that it's in working order. So we are heading from the curbside back up towards the house and towards the back of the yard. So at three metres, there appears to be just a slight little catchment of uh, just leaf matter and dirt. This is very common for stormwater drains to be uh, holding this sort of matter. Alright, so the stormwater drain is holding water at four metres. Completely underwater at this point. Appears to be some dirt and debris sitting at the bottom. Work through all that. Still holding water. So it's still holding water. We're coming out of it now, but we're st still slightly holding water. Alrighty, so it appears that we're out of the water now at 13.6 metres. Alrighty, we'll continue on towards the back of the home. something smudged on the lens so it's a bit difficult to see. Still holding some water slightly. Okay, so at 19.76 metres there is something uh, going on. Uh, it appears that there's a high spot within the drain. As you can see the camera head falls over it and come back and go up. So potentially a root pushing on the bottom side of the drain. It's very difficult to see with the stuff smudged on the camera lens. But this is a problematic area within the drain here. Alrighty, so I have just sond located uh, the head uh, this, with this exact location. Uh, it's just about one metre towards the front of the street from the uh, face of the garage. Um, and it's just in a, under a little gravel garden bed um, to the right hand side of the home looking from the street. So we'll continue on. The drain is holding water again. We have a junction at 21.5 metres, slightly holding water. I'm not quite sure what that picks up, but it's Aggie. Oh, I wanted to go into the Aggie. Here we go. Aggie's holding water. I'm unable to push any further. The head is getting stuck on the Aggie. We can jump straight ahead. There we go. 
Alrighty, continuing on towards the back of the road, the home. This um, appears to be some sort of plumbed in drip feed. Uh, I'm going to assume this is right beside the wheelie bins. I'll take a photo of it in a minute. Um, it just appears that there's a stormwater pit that's been put in uh, with some pressure pipe that feeds into the stormwater line uh, just to collect any groundwater from the right hand side of the, the home. All right, continuing past. Have another junction appears to be holding water and some leaf matter. Another Aggie line holding some more water. All right, continuing on, we're still holding water. to go underwater again. Continuing on. Alrighty, so I've just uh, sond located um, this sag within the pipe uh, and it is located adjacent to the ORG and the hot water system uh, down the right hand side of the road, uh, sorry the house looking from the road. Um, yeah this is underneath the concrete footpath so this would require concrete cutting uh, and excavation to get access to. We have another junction at 37.78 metres. I have another Aggie line feeding into the main stormwater line. I'm going to try and get past it, however, it's trying to fight me a little bit this one. Where are we? I oh, know we're still going. Seems like a primary name. Completely underwater. Yeah, I can't really see too much now, but we're completely underwater. Very difficult to push. Starting to hold water again at 43.7 meters. Alrighty, so I can't really tell what it is because I'm holding water, but there's something there. Looks like a root intrusion at 44.63 meters uh, that I am unable to push past with the camera. 
camera. I will sonde locate this and mark it on the ground as well. Alrighty, so I have just attempted to sonde locate um, yeah, this, this root intrusion and I was unable to get an accurate location. Uh, I've got a video of it on my phone. Um, however, if we're well, considering the state of the uh, stormwater line, having multiple sags and potential uh, future root intrusions, I would be recommending a full rerun of the stormwater drain. Um, and that would then rectify all issues of holding water in the backyard um, and holding water anywhere. Um, I will get photos to send off a quote if uh, the homeowner would, or the potential homeowner would, like.